All right, let's check out the Hellion lore. I was too young, too loud, too certain. Hellion, chapter one, the Eve of Glory. She was young to join the war band, but any who challenged her readiness were met with clenched fists and violent indignation. Having bloodied the last of her detractors, the matter was considered finally settled. On the eve of battle, she joined her clanmates in a raucous celebration, her stein and her spirits overflowing with abundance. Not when the winds get to play out. Bleed out. That's kind of what I was hoping for. It does wind her, unfortunately. But it'll be interesting to see what the upgrade to uh, bleed out is. And we also get a mastery. Which is nice. Sad Hellion. All right. Uh, let's see part two of the Hellion lore. Chapter two. The Brave. the tip of the spear prove yourself poised to sunder the enemy line to live forever oh look the she has yop here the actual yop a war cry and they resisted thanks she's here with two kratos she should have no problem winning Let's see where this is going well usually just watch you two but welcome in they were coming in. Holy crap. Her clan is weak. Uh, rest in peace, Kratos number one. We hardly knew you. Wow. Well. Summon clan mates. I don't know. <laughs> I guess I need to do that just so they take damage from her. Uh, more cannon. Oh, she's okay. It moves her all the way back to position three. Are these going to be a little bit stronger? Maybe. <laughs> Not again. Nope, oh, three damage. Three damage. Are they supposed to resist every stun? Is that part of this? Like, why give me the move? Yeah, her comic is that she got yeah, she ran away and got her people killed, yeah. All right, I'm done. Kill him, I'll summon some more for you to kill. I think we're gonna lose this. Six stun resists. Oh, wait, maybe we're supposed to do this. That is what the comic shows. Okay, Her entire right. life spent in preparation. I think you're supposed to lose. But when it mattered most. Ooh, bloodlust. Plus what mastery. Remove winded, gain attack deal 20% damage when the target is bleeding. Interesting. Kratos died, like, like 12 of them died. All right, may maybe like six. I wonder what the upgrade of that's gonna be. Hopefully it's more interesting than just extra bleed damage. All right, more Hellion stuff. Chapter three, Night in the Woods. Scary. 
As the advancing army moved on, she huddled tightly in the tree's clammy roots, hoping to be somehow swallowed up into the earth. At dawn, she woke tormented by the exuberant cries of carrion crows, come to feast upon the corpses of her kin. When at last she stirred, the scavengers took flight, repulsed by the sight of this undeserving revenant. Feels bad. Raucous revelry. If she is under 33% health, heal 20%. Get rid of two stress. Allies have a 50% chance to get rid of stress and removes horror. Nice. I wonder what the upgrade of that's going to be. All right, the next Hellion Shrine of Reflection echoes the past. I had survived and I reminded them of those who had not. Chapter four, Shame and Exile. She had shunned a warrior's death and her cowardice would be impugned. All right, when we, we actually get to play through, she has pleading apology, minus three stress, and conceding tower. Apologize to 10 widows. Oh, that's rough. That's rough. I've seen that joke a lot. Yeah, that's one of the first jokes I I heard with uh, the leper. Why? What do they want? Her to stay there and die along with her husbands? That is what they wanted. Why aren't you dead too? What are they pulling this squishy crap out of? You know what? Never mind. Kratos' warriors and Aloy at home. <laughs> it wasn't my fault and they disintegrate the void. Feels so good. I need to be careful here. It would be nice if they showed how many you've already completed. We've done two, I believe. For Horizon Zero. Yeah, that's Aloy, yeah. When George woke him in. Oh, crap. Uh, I should have been using that more often, I think. Well, I don't know, actually. one of the problems. The ones in the front do Vindictive, which is a one. And the ones in the back do a two. I think we're screwed. Boss, maybe keep me up at night? No. They cast her out. An exile. I was wondering. Unwelcome. And unsung. Sorry about talking during that. I thought that was when it, I was starting to wonder because I was doing like the math in my head and I was like, hang on a second. 
they're doing six stress per round if they hit, and I can only get rid of three or dodge two of the throws. Anyway, uh, there's hers. We only have one more remaining, I believe. So we unlocked Breakthrough. Breakthrough, uh, you can use from the back three positions. It moves forward and hits the first three. It does give her winded, and we uh, we don't know what the upgrade is, but we'll check that out at the end. Definitely a usable move, depending on what it does. AoE is very good in this game because it procs things separately. So Breakthrough could get rid of up to three tokens on enemies, maybe more if they have multiple defensive tokens. It can also apply on hit things from trinkets and whatnot, a roll on each of those hits, so. Yeah, that's the one you're supposed to lose. All right, we only have one more on the Hellion. All right, uh, the Hellion's final shrine of reflection, echoes of the past. It is said even death shuns cowards and fools. Chapter five, the great emptiness. Alone and untethered, she wandered the countryside, fighting for sport and soaking her wounds in wine. She sought death at every turn, desperate for a second chance to prove her mettle. But it seemed even that terrible wraith had forsaken her. Her isolation was absolute. Her shame barely concealed by a fragile facade of fearlessness. Oh, Hellion. All right, the last lore of the Hellion, the last skills. You got our mastery point, of course. Adrenaline Rush requires self to be under 33%, has a three round cooldown and only two use limit. Heals her 20%, removes bleed, removes winded, and gain on attack, heal 20%. Crazy. It'll be very interesting to see what the upgrade to that is. Howling End. Uh, this is the one that we saw previewed. We saw this one and look at that damage. 8 to 14 might not sound like a lot. In this game, 8 to 14 baseline, not in ca not accounting for like her extra damage from 50% 25% health, that's actually massive damage. It, it also ignores uh, the protection, has a one round cooldown, 10% crit, it wins her. We'll have to see what the upgrade does. Uh, that is a big hitting move, hard hitting move. So excited to see what they are. All right, Hellion lore is done.